So we're going to power up the rocket, and we're going to ignite the engines, and then remove the stabilizers. So, we're just entering the outer atmosphere now, and I've turned off the engines, I want to give them a bit of a chance. Load the speed, we're now just going into orbit. So we're going to separate off from here. I need to actually turn the throttle on. Let's get away from the main body of the jet, well, the main engines of the jet, it's going down there now. So we are 48 kilometers above and Jebedar Kerman is going to test and see what happens when we send him out. So he is he's climbing out doing his job. The little ladders for him to climb down. Yeah. He doesn't think anything strange is gonna happen yet. And he said bye to his friends. He doesn't look too happy being forced to do this. He's still gaining altitude. He's now he'll go into a steady orbit, eventually coming back down a bit like a space plane. Now he's coming into the lower atmosphere. Now he should be picking up so much speed that it'll turn into a, basically a green minion shaped comet. And here he is, the Minion Comet. What do you think the Earth will survive from this? From this impact, he seems a bit toasty. The answer is he bounces. He bounces like a green bouncy ball. Let's have a look at the damage. His foot has intersected with his head. His arm has broken through his helmet and probably punched himself in the face, which has probably knocked him out. So, test has been done. We've got enough results. And I think we've realised we won't do this again. <laughs>